Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show how to install Nginx with the help of Docker Compose. So let's get started. Starting off, simply head on over to the link in the description box which will take you to this blog post by Cloud Infrastructure Services. And this blog post contains all of the commands that I will be using throughout this tutorial. To start off, we are going to update our apt list. So simply type in the command sudo apt get update and then hit enter. Type in the password for the root user and then hit enter once more. Now once all of the package list have been updated, the next step is to install all of the dependencies. So simply head on over to the blog post and copy this command and paste it inside your terminal and then hit enter. Now if you get this kind of error, then simply type in the command sudo and then paste in the command to install all of the dependencies and then hit enter. Now once that is done, we also need to install docker first before installing docker compose. So let's learn how to install docker. So the first thing that we want to do is that we want to add in the apt key of the docker into our apt list. For that simply head on over to the blog post, copy this command and paste it inside your terminal. Now you might be prompted that this command can be only used by the root user. So simply add in the sudo command and then the following command to add in the repository and then hit enter. Now if the problem persists even with the sudo command, then what you need to do is that you need to completely shift over to the root user. So simply type in the command sudo space hyphen i and then you would be shifted over to the root user. This time around simply paste in your command and then hit enter and your apt key would be added. After that, you also want to add in the repository. So simply copy this command paste it inside your terminal and then hit enter. Now we have successfully added the repository of docker into our apt list. Now what we can do is that we can close down this terminal and open up a new terminal without the root privileges. And within this terminal, we can simply type in sudo apt get update and then hit enter. Once the apt package list has been confirmed, we can now install docker. Now to install docker, simply type in the command sudo apt get install docker hyphen ce which stands for community engine. And also we want to install docker hyphen ce cli after that you can also add in the hyphen y flag and then hit enter now once that is done you can verify the version of docker by simply typing in the command docker space version and then hit enter so you can see that i'm running docker engine community and the version is 20.10.21 after that the next step is to actually install docker compose onto our ubuntu now to install docker compose, we need to manually download it from the github api. For that simply head on over to the blog post and copy this command and paste it inside your terminal but do not press enter because on the repository, the package name has been renamed with the linux starting from a small l. So you need to change that within the command and then hit enter. Now since I'm running the terminal on my desktop, the file would be downloaded on the desktop. So simply wait for the downloading process to fully complete. Now once the downloading process is done, the next step is to change or add in the executable permissions for the downloaded file. Now for that simply type in the command chmod or simply use the sudo command so that we don't run into any errors and follow it up with chmod and then add in the executable permission by simply typing in plus x and then the name of the downloaded file which is docker compose linux x86 and 64 and then hit enter. Once that is done, now we want to move this file into the user slash bin folder and also we want to rename it to docker compose so that it is easy for us to execute this command. So for that simply type in the command sudo and then the move command which is mv followed up by the file on the desktop which is docker compose and then we are going to provide in the path which is going to be user slash bin slash the name of the file that we want to give which is going to be docker compose and then hit enter. Now your file has been moved over to the user slash bin folder. Now we can verify the installation of docker compose by simply typing in the command docker compose double hyphen version and then hit enter. So you can see that we have successfully installed the version 2.12.2. Now we can start working on the HTML document that we want to serve with the help of nginx. So on the desktop, I'm going to create a new directory. So the command is mkdir followed up by hyphen p and then the folder is going to be project and it is going to contain a subfolder which is going to be source. Now inside that folder, I want to create an index file. So simply type in the command nano project source and then index.html and then hit enter. Now within this HTML file, simply head on over to the blog post and copy these contents and paste them inside over here. After that, simply hit control O to save the file and control X to exit from this file. Now once that is done, we want to create a docker compose yaml file which is going to help us specify the services that we want to run. So simply type in the command nano 
project docker-compose.yaml file and then hit enter. And within this file, head on over to the blog post and copy these contents and paste them right over here. Now you can see that for the services we are using nginx latest and the ports are being used as 8080 and 80. After that simply hit ctrl o to save this file and ctrl x to exit from this file. Now all there is left to do is to run this program. So first of all cd inside the project folder and then simply run the command docker compose space up followed up by hyphen d flag and then hit enter. And after that if we simply open up a new tab and head on over to localhost and the port number 8080 we get this output onto the browser. Anyways that was all about this tutorial. Now if you want to host nginx or docker compose on cloud hosted platforms such as google cloud, azure and amazon then simply check out the videos linked in the description box. Other than that if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.